Hello, so in this video I'm going to be looking at Gigapowers, G1 Style, Master Scale, Gigasaurs, Gurundantur, which is of course their, their take on a masterpiece swoop. I've been looking forward to this for a quite some time. I'm a big fan of what Gigapower have been doing. So without further ado, let's take a quick look. So this is the box. It is, of course, quite large. Nice little bit of art on the side there. Some product shots. A little bit of a bio. Uh, yeah. I'll start at the back of the box where we have the instructions. Some uh, stickers. Possibly the meatiest flight stand I have ever seen. I mean, look at that. Well, we'll, we'll get have a proper look in a minute. And, ooh, uh, turn him around. Put the camera up a little bit. Crikey. Oh, he's so pretty. So I'm going to start with the, the plethora of accessories. Um, as I mentioned, we've got this flight stand, which is ridiculously chunky. Uh, it seems that bits pop off, those bits off, and then, uh, and of course, uh, and then you have these sort of arms with spotlights, I hate spotlights, uh, to put the batteries in you undo that little screw piece there, I don't have the the correct battery that said black mamba and oh who did the uh the bone crusher uh came with batteries which is really nice it's nice when you flick a figure and the batteries come on i'm, I'm a big fan of that uh we have that which other than being pointy i have literally no ideas it's well built whatever it is there's the box. Uh... Nope, not a picture of it in the box. One day I'm going to have to read some instructions. Anyway, there's that, which is sharp, actually, really, really sharp. Uh, we have not one. But two swords, which I'm not gonna lie, I quite like having two swords. It makes them a bit more badass. Again, all with light up features uh, to a uh, little screw there to undo to get the battery. <coughs> we have a spare head. Uh, so the toy accurate sort of clear head. I am not gonna be using this. I, it's funny, I, I vary between animation and toy as and when I choose because it's my toy, sorry. My collector's piece. And we have his missile launchers. Uh, also looks like a spare neck socket. So that is all his accessories, which is a good amount. So I suppose without further ado, we'll have to take a look at the guy himself. And oh my, oh my, oh my. Here he is. Isn't he, I mean, that's, that's to get the full sort of wingspan. <laughs> it barely fits in my two foot across box, which is mental. That is absolutely insane wingspan. Uh, it's a very, very, uh, I don't know if it's coming across on camera. It's a beautiful blue. Uh, Try to describe it. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful blue. And slightly different shades of blue from the... Uh, and and he's heavy. He has got some weight to him. I don't have any scales, but I'm sure. Uh, articulation. Head. Oh. His mouth. Open. Oh, he's got a little gun in there. <laughs> Which... There we go. That's cool. Uh, ah, I'm guessing those stickers. 
you put in his eyes. Which is pretty cool. Uh, the ridiculous wings can flap. Uh, he's he's beautiful. I like the way the the, uh, the arms are graded. You know, they go in. That's nice. We have little dinosaur feet. Oh, his toes! His toes wiggle. He's got toe wiggle. That's cool. Uh, and he's got little uh, little claws on here. Giga power caused me big problems because obviously Dinobots are often uh, stored in dinosaur mode. Can you, I don't quite know how that clips. I wonder if it's got to do this. Uh, Dinobots are obviously often stored in Dinobot mode, but they've had a habit of creating absolutely beautiful robot modes. There's no doubting who it is. It is Swoop. Uh, God, the um, it's so blinding. I don't know if it's coming across the camera, but what's happening is the the the, the lights are shining off the chrome. Uh, the cat's ran off. It's making my nose run. I'd uh, like to recommend these for those people with the colds that are going around. Anyway, a uh, little bit of polystyrene fluff. So I suppose it's time for the inevitable comparison with one saw. Right, bear with me. Let me just go and get saw. Here is saw. Fun toys saw. As you can see, he is a really good swoop. Here is I don't yeah, I mean it's comparable. I can't fit them both in, he's so big. Uh Aesthetics, there's not a lot. Size-wise, he's big. I have to say, the stickers for the eyes were an absolute horror show. You're going to need tweezers uh, and patience. Uh, I'd say, Giga, if you could, next time, if you decide you want to do stickers like that, can you put them on for us? Because it was, it was awful. I, I really did not enjoy putting those stickers on at all. It was so, so tiny. I've got, like, quite large hands and as you can see those stickers are tiny anyway so as you can see when they are next to each other there's a size discrepancy obviously this is the metallic colored version i'm pretty sure the chrome one is going to blind people it's got chrome feet so these bits are uh, painted the paint the paint detail is beautiful <laughs> uh, just Gorgeously chromed wings. He's just so pretty. He's a much more vibrant blue. Uh, and I like the way his arms go in a bit better than... But uh, It's size, really. It's, it's size. He is bigger. Uh, much, much bigger. But he's cool. All right, I'm going to see if I can't get him transformed up into robot mode. And have a look, see what we've got. My, my, my. And Giga Power do it again. Look at him. Look at him. He's beautiful. The transformation's got some really cool bits. Like when you're transforming it and you pull the arms out, there's these buttons on his belly and they shoot these uh, spring-loaded side bits out, which is awesome. Uh, articulation. Head is on a ball you can come all the way forward and look into a chest because it's part of the transformation left right uh no a little bit of wiggly waggly uh the wings can fold back and you, you can just put the wings wherever you want the wings really the arms will do a 360 nice ratchets uh he does look like, you know, he's got the cuddle. He's got the cuddle pose. Bicep swivel. A uh, lot of the elbow and a bit of detail there. 
articulated fingers. Uh, waist. Hip skirts. Lift to car. Ooh. Out. Ooh. It's tight. <laughs> very, very, very tight. Uh, I have to say, the way the legs work is infinitely better. But I have one slight flaw. Which is a shame because we were we were strolling and streaking towards a perfect figure, bar eye stickers. This bit of the knee on mine here keeps popping off. It's only going to take a dab of glue to put it back. Oop. But it's not really a deal breaker, is it? It's a little bit on the knee. Uh, oh, and I like the pistons in the knee. I think that's beautiful. Thigh rotation, uh, foot. his die cast feet, by the way, up and down. He, he's stunning. He is one stunning boy. <clears throat> so here they are together. You can see that uh, I just think the Giga Power Gurundata, Gurundan, Gurun. Gurunta. Swoop on the left is is he's more vibrant. He's got more colour. That said, I have to admit I do prefer the face sculpt of the fan It's just a bit more friendly for the friendly Dinobot. He looks like he's been friends with you. He looks like he's he's pretending to be friends with you and will take your lunch money when you're not looking. Obviously, there's a size difference. I have to say, I think the better figure is the Giga Power one. So, some final thoughts. He's awesome. He's absolutely awesome. This is definitely more a display feature than a flight stand, because flight stands tend to be, you know, subtle. And if there's one thing, this thing isn't, it's subtle. It's enormous. Okay, it extends. It's even bigger than I first thought it was. My bits here are a bit loose. Uh, and I love the way this is one of the coolest things. Well, it's not one of the coolest. It's, it's so many cool things that he, uh, his swords clip onto his back. Just, I just really like that. Uh, he is, I think, the definitive swoop. Yes, he's big. He's bloody enormous, but Giga Power. Well, obviously they go with the whole go big or go home, and they've gone big. Uh, and it works, because in some episodes of the cartoon, the Dinobots were absolutely enormous. Uh, he's beautiful. Uh, he also comes in red. <coughs> but uh, for, for me, I like him in blue. Even though red is my favourite colour, uh, blue is the way my swoops go. He's awesome uh, i can't wait for their grim it's just a shame we're gonna have to wait probably another year for grimlock i tell you what if if we see grimlock this year in 2019 the superator i will grow this fingernail a little bit i will scrape the inside of my ear clip it and eat it that's how confident i am we're gonna have to wait but this guy was worth the wait so it's one of those things, patience, and it's not like, you know, I'm a bit unemployed at the moment, so it gives me a year to save. Uh, I will do an update video as soon as I figure out what this is. It's cool. It's sharp, though. Very sharp. But, yeah, no. Uh, Tur HQ05R, blue. He's, he's just awesome. Robots.